So welcome back to another video guys. Today I wanted to quickly cover the Readwise and Notion integration and if you've been following my Organize and Optimize series you know that in my Knowledge Hub and Second Brain video I actually covered how I use Readwise with Notion to actually automatically pull all my highlights from my Kindle ebooks, my articles, Twitter and different sources automatically into Notion and use it as my capture layer. So in those videos which was part six and seven I didn't actually cover how to create this notion database for yourself uh, using the readwise integration and that's what we're going to do today i'm going to show you what to do step by step on a fresh new notion account and a fresh new readwise account and how you can actually integrate stuff together and so that it's completely automatic so let's just get into it shall we so first things first, I'm actually not working on my own Notion database. I'm working on one of my friend's Notion database that actually does not have this Readwise integration enabled. And I'm going to show you how to do it fresh from that. So I'm going to log into Readwise as a new account and show you everything that's going to happen. If you remember, I said that Readwise is an integration layer where everything that you capture from your Kindle eBooks and so on and so forth can be fed into Readwise and then Readwise will put it in a nicely exported version into Notion and recently they also released Obsidian integration for example and what happens is that you can import your highlights, you can review them, you can actually uh, remember them using Active Recall and so on and so forth. Basically then automatically export these highlights into your database of Knowledge Hub uh, or as they call it, the library. What I actually do, and if you remember from my videos, is I use their database when the integration is enabled, and then I add my own properties and stuff to it, such as the, my related projects or my related areas. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go and watch my eight part mini series on how to create a system for yourself to organize and optimize your life. But anyway, these highlights will then be pulled for you and then you can go and actually use them and review them in your weekly reviews, for example, and so on and so forth. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to actually sign up for Readwise. You can sign up for Amazon. I don't want to do that. So I just sign up with my own thing. I'm just going to fast forward this so it's quicker. So after you log in, the first thing that you see is the import highlights page. So if you have any of these accounts like Kindle, Pocket, Twitter, Instapaper, Apple Books or whatever, you can actually connect them here and then they automatically pull all of your highlights in for you. By the way, they also have a lot of different things. You can also, for example, you can upload your own PDFs. You can actually take pictures of books and the highlight sections will come in from there. You can write text yourself. You can actually use the supplemental books that they have. And basically they have some books that they have highlighted themselves or a lot of people have and then you can review them and uh, because i don't want to connect all my accounts right now which is super easy to do anyway what i'll do is i will use the supplemental books and also show you how that works so if we go here and let's just say we put the name of a book let's just go with atomic habits and as you can see it brings up that book because it's very popular and obviously there's going to be a lot of highlights and stuff for it ignore review frequency document tags and stuff like that for now but all you have to do basically just add the books and um, let's just add a few more Let's just say how to win friends and influence people. It's also super popular. Also the slight edge. And after you add three here, you can actually continue. By the way, I've read all these books myself. And let me know if you're interested in getting the summaries of these books or actually my main takeaways from them. I know they're super popular, but maybe you like to hear it from my perspective. Anyway, we continue here and that's it. Step three of three is that you're ready. They actually send you the highlights and stuff every few days. And you can also download their app on App Store and Google Play. And they will also give you notifications from your highlights. So you can go and review them and actively recall them and so on and so forth. Uh, but basically, I'll just jump into my email and see if their email has arrived. So yeah, now that I'm in my email, you can see that I got an email from hello at readwise.io. And as you can see, now they've actually given me some highlights from Atomic Habits, from the Slight Edge, and so on and so forth. You can actually watch the comprehensive YouTube guide from Readwise and so on and so forth. So you actually learn how to actually use it yourself. But for now, what we want to focus on is the integration into Notion. So let's move on. So all I have to do afterwards is actually go to my homepage of readwise.io forward slash dashboard. And you can see right now I'm on a 30 day free trial. And as you can see, I can see all my imports on my exports. I can browse my different highlights that I have and different tags and stuff. There's something called the mastery, which actually allows you to active recall these things and it will tell you and maybe like removes a piece of information from it. Then you can actually configure your reviews for your apps, for your 
actual emails and actually you can create themed reviews and so on and so forth it's quite actually a very very interesting amazing app i don't want to get too much into detail from there what i want to do right now is to actually export these highlights that we got from these supplemental books which by the way you could also connect your own accounts and get it from your actual kindle account from your actual twitter and so on and so forth to notion and see what happens so what i'll do i'll click on export here and as you can see these are all the export uh, things that they have we can connect to notion we can connect to obsidian and so on and so forth obviously we want to connect to notion you can always click on explore here and see how does the integration actually work they will explain it for you exactly i'm just going to show you how i will use it we click on connect we connect notion to readwise for this you need to install the readwise exporter uh, which you need to add to Chrome. But as I'm right now in the incognito mode, I can actually do this. So I'll just quickly log in in the normal Chrome and show you how that's done. Basically, I'm back. So we can actually click on connect again, connect Notion to Readwise. It needs the extension. We just add to Chrome here, add extension, done. And now you can actually start exporting. When you're on trial account, you can actually only export up to 10 books and so on and so forth. But I strongly recommend that you actually use the uh, paid version of this app and so on and so forth. So after you do that, it actually says you want to export to Unesi, which is the name of my a notion account i obviously don't want to do that i don't want to mess up my own export so what you'll do is you'll just choose your account here by the way you have to have already logged into your notion in your chrome uh, for that to actually show up here so if you haven't logged into notion log in first then come and try to export so i'll just switch it to samia's notion which is uh, my friend's notion which i'm using here and uh, i would actually leave these settings as it is export automatically so it automatically actually does that every so often include highlights locations so actually tells you on what page was this highlight taken from for example compact layout is also nice so it's actually clean export your daily reviews i don't actually do this if you end up using readwise and see that you really like using the daily reviews then you should do it and also i don't want to every time select what i'm going to be exporting so i turn these two off and turn these on that's it so we just click on start export to samuel's notion and as you can see it's now exporting your highlights to notion it will automatically connect to notion it will automatically create the database and hopefully it will show up exactly how we want it right now now, as you can see it says that it actually exported zero highlights and zero notes that's because i didn't actually make any new highlights or notes for my own account so what we can do is we can actually open notion now and in her account we should be able to see a new page called readwise created and a new database called library here now there's some notes that also is created by the way this is all automatically created by readwise i didn't do anything and as you can see here now they have the articles they have the tweets they have podcast and so on and so forth all in one view for us so if i actually for the sake of the argument open a new page you can see that the properties of author full title url last highlighted last sync category and highlights are all made automatically by readwise for us so that's pretty much it if you're just looking on how you can integrate notion and readwise you're pretty much done already next time that you go into your readwise and actually connect and import a highlight let's say from kindle instapaper or whatever it will automatically be pulled and shown up in your library let's just show that once basically i'm just connecting this uh pocket account to readwise i authorize it and then it's just syncing uh, i'm not sure if i actually have any notes in this pocket account let's just see yeah so i actually had it and it imported six new total highlights and i can also always click to review or tune them but right now i don't care so i can go back to my dashboard and as you can see my exports and right now i have one connection to notion and that's it it's that simple as soon as i import everything readwise kicks in and integrates everything and exports it into my notion automatically so if you go in my notion right now you can see that those three articles have been pulled here and for example how does it feel to get everything you ever wanted by ryan holiday and uh, this is the full title this is a url this is the date uh, that it was last highlighted this is the date that it was last synced so today i actually last synced it and uh, this is the category that number of highlights i have there's three highlights and these are the actual highlights that you can see right here so everything that you actually want if you only care about the integration between readwise and notion is pretty much done for you and set up if you look at this database right now, it doesn't have a lot of the different categories. Let's say you want to capture YouTube videos also into this. It doesn't have them right now, but this database that Readwise has created right now is completely customizable. So you can come here and actually add your own properties if you want. You can add different views. You can add different filters and sorts and everything, and their integration still works. And that's absolutely amazing because if you remember from my video uh, on my Knowledge Hub, my Knowledge Hub system looks quite different to this. And 
the reason is because I actually sat down and I actually added all the properties and things that I wanted. So if you have been following the Organize and Optimize series, um, what you can do then now is to actually, now that you have the integration set up, quickly jump to the template that I actually included in the previous videos and see what types of views I actually included for myself, see what type of properties I added and the filters and sorts and just copy it for your own database. As simple as that. As you can see, I added archives here. I added my own categories here. I added a related area, the content output and the project. If you don't remember, watch video six and seven in the series and you'll exactly understand why I added these. I added the property, why I captured this and, and so on and so forth. But yeah, basically then in my actual account, I can always jump, for example, to my books that I highlighted and you can see all the information is pulled. I related it to everything and my highlights are pulled and the locations are showing and everything. This is not a complete Readwise tutorial. Readwise is actually quite powerful. You can use inline taggings and so on and so forth. I don't want to really get into that. Their help articles, which you can also find on the resources are actually quite helpful and they actually reply to emails super quick. So if you have a problem with them, just send them an email. But basically right now on the browse, you can also see everything that we have in this fresh new account. Uh, as you can see, all these are synced and so on and so forth. Just for you to have a better idea, I will also quickly log into my own personal Readwise account to show you how it looks behind the scenes. And as you can see, I have all these tweets and books and so on and so forth. And if I actually browse everything, you can see that I've captured quite a lot of different things. And I actually love using their Twitter integration for saving Twitter threads and so on and so forth. So for example, this is a tweet by Alex and Books on Twitter. And I can actually see what the whole tweet was and so on and so forth. By the way, sometimes if you haven't exported for a long time, it might happen that you need to go back into a Readwise and just do the export settings one more time and click on export to your Notion database uh, so it automatically updates it. That's especially the case if you, for example, log out of your Chrome or change your extensions or delete it and so on and so forth. So yeah, so right now I actually exported everything once again because as I said, I actually moved house and, and reinstalled my computer and so on and so forth so my exports were not working. But as you can see right now, everything is here, all the tweets that I've captured, what the tweets were actually about. I can always click on view tweet and it will open the actual tweet that I was looking at. Uh, it was a part of this series and so on and so forth. There's also one more note that I would like to mention, and this is only for those who have been following my Organize and Optimize series. So if you haven't, this video is pretty much done for you. Thank you for watching. But if you have been following that series, this note is actually quite important for you. In the template that I gave you guys, this library is basically just a placeholder for you guys to be able to copy the properties and stuff uh, when you actually do the export yourself. Also, we use this library's view in our weekly reviews so that we can actually review what we captured and so on and so forth. And we covered weekly reviews quite in depth. But the only thing that you need to do is that this database that shows under what you captured right now is also this template placeholder. So if you're going to implement this for yourself, you need to replace this with the library that you just created. And that's super easy. After you actually created it, all you have to do is to come to this template, click on the three dots, click on edit. And here under step three, all you have to do is to click on forward slash link database. You create a link database and you actually choose the name of the library that you have. Obviously I can't really use it here but let's just for the sake of the argument, let's say I can. So I'll use my library from my own personal account. I can see them both because I'm using the same account for both of them. But let's say you get something like this and now you can actually copy the filters and stuff that are here and put it for yourself. So they're exactly the same. So yeah, so let's say you're reviewing your week for the previous week. All you have to do then, as we actually said before, you choose, for example, it's from Sunday the 3rd until Sunday the 10th. There you go. So just because I actually exported everything again here, you can see that let's say I captured all these things and so on and so forth and the full title and everything is there. And you can review them, you can distill them, you can connect them to your content output like here if you want. You can just click here and add it and relate it to your areas and projects and so on and so forth. Exactly like how we spoke before. So that's about it. Um, you can actually also jump under pricing and see how 
much it costs it's actually super super cheap for the service they're actually giving you i would definitely go with the readwise not readwise light because readwise allows you to do the exports to notion and evernote and so on and so forth if you're a student you can also get an educational account for 50 percent off that's actually what i did and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys want me to actually cover readwise uh, the software itself in particular in depth let me know i can also make a video about that i actually use some of the parts for example of uh, the email preferences i really like they actually send me an email every week and i review what i captured that week or on my phone sometimes i look at the daily reviews and it says okay this is for example what you captured do you like it do you not like it if i don't like it i can discard it if i like it i can keep it and so on and so forth i think you get the picture that's about it for this video if you have any questions let me know also if you have any difficulties with your account um, you probably can reach out to readwise and they'll help you really quickly if you have any questions let me know catch you guys in the next video peace